another day and another morning watching a rod tip on the canal. We've had some very nice weather in the last few days. However, this morning I was spraying de-icer on the windshield. We've turned the corner. I'm pretty sure about that as far as the weather's concerned. The harshness anyway that we had late January and into February. However, there will still be times when it's very cold indeed, especially overnight and it was minus one last night. However, I've got a bait in the water and that's, as far as I'm concerned, the most important thing. Plus, while I wait for my first bite, I've got a cup of tea. I was drinking my tea. I've got my tub with brown crumb and maggots next to it. And I've put obviously some bait out there. And while I'm drinking my tea, I came to the, the bottom. I'm looking at the rod tip while I'm drinking, so I'm not looking into the cup. Like so. And I thought, that's a bit squishy. What's that in the tea? I looked at it. It was a maggot. <laughs> I, was, I was drinking a maggot. I'll tell you what, that's the first thing today that's had a maggot in its mouth because it's very, very quiet. And as anglers, we are at the mercy of the elements, aren't we? Whether it's the rainfall that pushes the river up, makes it unfishable, or certainly makes it very difficult, or the overnight frost that's not been part of the pattern of the weather so far over the last couple of weeks. It all affects the fish, doesn't it? The key though is just go fishing anyway. Yes, target your species accordingly. Use the right tactics, the bait, fish the right places. But above all, just go fishing anyway. And the way it's looking this morning, I think I might be fishing for that first bite initially. And while I'm waiting for this first bite, hopefully it will come. I was thinking, my toes are cold this morning. And it took me back in time, well, 50 years <laughs> to when I was a kid and we used to go fishing and we didn't have the gear that we have now in terms of clothes, the technology even that's been developed during that half a century. And I would fish with three pairs of socks of pair of Wellington boots, not ideal those of course, because they're just rubber. Nowadays we have proper boots and neoprene linings, etc. I'd have a couple of pairs of trousers, a couple of t-shirts, a couple of jumpers, and my dad's donkey jacket, Bagridge brick on the back, and I'd still be cold. However, I would still go fishing because that's ultimately <clears throat> what drives us, isn't it? It's the passion for angling regardless of the conditions. Ideally now I'd be chub fishing on a river. The rivers will be in very good condition. But apart from the Stour, which is within my local range, the River Severn, where I would love to be chub fishing into dark, well, I think that's going to be next season now because we have just uh, few weeks left until the rivers close and then start up again in June. However, as I've said on a number of occasions recently, it's a case of being thankful for small mercies. At least we can get out and the local canal section, rural canal section, is just a few minutes away by car from where I live. I, I'm about four miles from home this morning, so it certainly ticks the local box. However, I would like to catch a fish. That would be the reason I came, of course. It 
it's been a while coming and it might not be the biggest roach I've ever caught but I'll tell you what I'm happy with that one in the circumstances very very difficult conditions today the sun's up now it's very bright indeed just a short session for me one hour in fact but we have to fit in what we can when we can as far as angling is concerned just the one fish as well so another fine line but I'm on the right side of that line and as I often close these videos if you are out fishing yourself tight lines <laughs>